We're continuing to learn more about this morning's deadly crash in Garrett County. State police say a semi pulled out in front of an ambulance, leaving two people dead. Allie Root has reaction from those impacted by the tragedy. You hope it's the phone call you never get. Members of the Somerset community are devastated after the loss of local EMS worker Chaston McHorter. He was 26 years old. Kentucky State Police say he was driving a Somerset Pulaski County ambulance when a semi turned in front of him, causing a fatal crash. McHorter and the patient in the ambulance, 75 year old Robert Cottle, were pronounced dead at the scene. We're all hurting, but I hope that we'll also pause and be thankful that we have folks that are willing to to do this work that are willing to put service above self in spite of the risk and take care of folks when they're in their time of need bobby chapin has lived in garrett county near the site of the accident for several years he says crashes in the area are not unusual to see i've seen a few here but with it being involved with the medical unit and stuff, this is the worst one I've ever seen. He and others say it's critical to drive with caution, especially when sharing the road with first responder vehicles. Emergency vehicles coming through here and people just dart out in front of them, and, you know, trying to turn in here or going across, and you know, and they think they can do it, but, you, you know, like I said, just use common sense. I'll just say there's nothing that, that we're as citizens doing that's going to be more important than the work that they're doing. No inconvenience should trump uh, us being in a hurry. Following Monday's accident, McHorter's widow posted on Facebook asking for prayers. She says he loved his kids more than anything and that he would do anything for anyone. Somerset Mayor Alan Keck says McHorter started with Somerset Pulaski County EMS in late 2022 and quickly became a cherished piece of that family as well. You know, his father works for our agency. Um, Chaston himself was a father and a husband. And so, you know, my prayers, my heart goes out to his family. My thoughts instantly turn to how can we help them? How can we pray for them? How can we be a resource for them? Mayor Keck says he pledges to honor Mick Horter's life and legacy every day by advocating for current and future first responders to get the resources they need to save lives. In Garrett County, Allie Root, Fox 56 News.